All right, welcome back or welcome to the final uh, video of the syllabus. I left off talking about grading with the uh, grading breakdown. So I always think that this is really unfair because you know we you have only a 10% chance to get an A, but 50% chance to get an F. But that's the way things are traditionally done. So I'm not gonna really mess with that too much. I do have a, lot, a little indication of evaluation of writing. This is just kind of in there to help you understand a little bit more. I'm not really gonna go, you know, this is not the Bible. I'm not really, you know, holding it up as as a sacred text. It's just there as more of a guidance of what expectations are. I do have my rubric. This is just a very general rubric, but I use it for just about everything. Um, context and purpose. You know, are you doing what the assignment asks? Are you writing for the appropriate audience? Are you understanding what's going on? Or are you just writing your traditional paper that you think, you know, was, was cool in high school or whatever? Uh, development and organization. Does it flow logically and in a way that's clear? Do I know what it is you're trying to do in this paper? That's your defined thesis or your controlling idea. And can I see that it's being done? Topic and discipline. Are you writing the appropriate style for this assignment? Are you using the proper um, formatting for the discipline? I've said MLA, make sure you do that. Support and evidence. Um, are you supporting your thesis and claim? Are you using credible sources, things like that? Or you just assuming we understand these things. And then finally, mechanics, um, you know, this is the last thing that you should really worry about. Um, as long as I can understand what you're saying, th th this is generally not a problem. Um, and then our schedule. So the schedule is kind of broken down and some people have had problems reading this. This It makes sense to me, but only because it makes sense because I created it, right? So this column is the day and the week. So week one goes from January 17th to the 23rd. Week two, these weeks. And then what assignments that you need to have done. Uh, for my Webflex class, I will actually say when I want things done, actually for all your classes, but but definitely for the Webflux class, I'll be like, okay, have this reading done before class. This one you can do after class. Um, it's not really that big of an issue, but generally assume that all these things have to be done before class meetings or before we actually do these discussion boards. So uh, you will see that you know, I have them numbered, discussion one, discussion two, discussion three. You don't have to do those in those orders, but you can. Um, generally, I'll have in Blackboard a date, or not a day date, but a day that I want them done. So I'll be, do this by Wednesday, respond to everything else by Friday, things like that. So try to keep that in mind, and that will be set up that way in Blackboard for you. So when you go in here, it'll say, first of all, this tasks list. So it'll say, do this, do this, do this, do this. Um, and I'll, often tell you when I want things done. Um, other times it'll be down here at the end of the discussion board. So make sure you look for those. And then what writing is due. So here we have the summary of they call this enemy. First summary is due Wednesday night. That might change just to make it easier. Um, if you're in my Webflex class, it'll be due at class time, but my my Webflex class meets on Wednesday. So that might actually work really well. And then, you know, this will be due Sunday, right? So those are important things for us to remember is that I always post when I want things due. And you'll be able to take all the various links and things like that. Um, so like this one says Saturday. So those are important things. But again, if they're in by Sunday, I'm not really gonna quibble too much because I am not sitting around at my computer at 11.59, waiting for the stroke of, of midnight to start grading your work, I am in bed. So if you have questions on how to read through these things, please let me know, but it's just every week I take this and I post it up top and I explain when things are due. Um, you will be able to see book review, first major book piece of writing is going to be due on, actually, 
editorial analysis. That's actually going to be due sooner. Uh, we're we're kind of doing two different things. We're doing the book review and working on our topic at the same time. So we'll have our editorial analysis as our first major paper due. Uh, it's usually the book review that's due, but I want us to start really getting into a topic. And I think students get a good idea of their positions and what they can argue about their topic by doing the editorial analysis. So that'll be due first, then the book review. So we'll be working on both of these at the same time. It seems like a lot, but you'll be able to get through it. And then um, when we get back from spring break, proposal and annotated bibliography are gonna be due. Then we have a draft of the research paper, the argument, and then the call to action. And then presentation, so you know, a week after week, something's due. Final research project's gonna be due on Saturday. That is the argument and call to action. I guess we should include the propo revised proposal and annotated bibliography in there. And then we'll do our presentations and then reflect with the journal and then capstone. So a lot of things are going on. It seems like a lot, but don't let this intimidate you. You are all more than capable of being able to do this. So if you have questions about the assignments, what we're doing, how they're graded or anything like that, please um, ask me questions. I know I say that all the time, but please do so. Um, if you read through the uh, suggestions for students, they say, just email, just, just contact him and, and he'll help you out. Like I'm, I'm here to help you succeed. Um, I'm not here to trick you or play gotcha or, or you know, gatekeep or, or anything like that. I want you to do well, that's an important thing. So the more you work with me, the better I can help you. So I hope the syllabus overviews been useful. Hopefully you watched the video. I never know if people do. Um, so yeah, thank you very much.